I do visual arts. I'm uh, by profession a graphic designer and usually I work with uh, computers, with uh, digital art and uh, I do painting and drawing mostly for myself. Uh, I do acrylic painting, uh, which is more, express, uh, more expression, I guess. And uh, lately, especially in the last year, I've been doing a lot of uh, illustrations, pen and ink illustrations, that are a little bit more uh, surrealistic and I just draw basically what comes to my mind. And I try not to overthink it too much because uh, in the past I've been trying to take on really, really big issues and just make bombastic uh, uh, technical pieces out of things and I found that in the end that doesn't work for me. I mean really if you have a big uh, painting, uh, a war painting or, or whatever, it doesn't really say much about the issues, it just uh, states facts and uh, it doesn't do so much for uh, feeling uh, how people feel about issues. So uh, my inspiration now is more focusing on smaller things on uh, tiny little aspects of uh, things that I see every day, let's say on, on TV or just going on a walk, seeing different things and I work them together uh, to just either make nonsense or something whimsical, something uh, unique. And they tend to mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people in the end because uh, they are not really thought out to the minute, minute little details all the time. They are a little bit more uh, spontaneous snapshots of uh, different issues that, uh, that come up. Sometimes it can be political issues, philosophical issues, or historical things that come together. I've started using a surrealistic technique. It's called decalcomania. Uh, and you start out basically with, with, uh, with an ink blot, for example. You, uh, you make different color ink blots and then you look at what you see on the image and you start embellishing, you start taking away things, you start adding things on and then you add, uh, add up to an image that is essentially something that you had in mind altogether already and just didn't know it. So uh, it's a very uh, common technique like automatic writing or different things that the surrealists use to uh, free up their mind and not overthink all the different issues that, uh, that they were working on. It was meant to um, basically free up the mind from the stuffy intellectual thinking process of uh, making art available to only the elite that understands all those different tiny things. It was uh, meant to basically um, free up the thought and make it accessible to everybody because it is small things, spontaneous things that a lot of people can associate with. Um, right now I don't really uh, uh, exhibit my work in, in galleries that much. Like I said, I'm uh, more of a graphic designer and uh, work more on, on digital art. But uh, I do have a website uh, where I usually blog my new newest works, uh, my newest um, things that come out and I also write about different things that go on uh, in the city, different art related things and usually I post um, all the different new things that I do on my website but I'm trying to also make, it, make them more accessible to people if they would like to um, view them or um, maybe purchase a, a, a picture of some sort. Probably they would have to contact me directly at this point but uh, I'm working on getting a little bit more out there and showing people my art. That's definitely one of the goals that I have. I'm Cornelia Jules and I'm a raw artist. <laughs>